What's up everybody, this is Saber, and welcome back to Star Made Ship Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out the Gunbuster Mark 1, which is submitted by Mr. Piggins. Or at least I assume it's Mr. It's capital M-R and then lowercase Piggins, which I think is a fantastic name. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and load up the Gunbuster Mark 1. And it is fairly small. Okay, cool. That's a nice breath of fresh air compared to some of the other ships that I just recently did. But I uh, I don't know. So far, there's not a lot to uh, remark on. Uh, one thing I would recommend is in here, you could do some wedges right here on this side so you can actually get a nice smoother face in here. Or you could do a 45 on 45 with your corners. That's, uh, that's something we talked about in the last review a fair amount, but it really helps out to keep a nice, clean, sharp edge there, so I highly recommend that. But yeah, overall, kind of a classic styled engine, actually. It's sort of an older design where you use um, the, the ice crystal, although this might be... Nope, that is just ice crystal. Okay, ice crystal and then, like, your your basic framework there. But let's go ahead and take a look around the side and see what we got. So a very low-profile ship. This is definitely not a, a huge beast or behemoth by any means. But I like it. It's clean. It's very clean. Let me look at this, because it's just, as I'm going higher and higher, it's getting cleaner and cleaner. I really like this a lot, actually. you got some nice detailing in the center. The silhouette, though, is just sharp. That's really nice. It's a good, clean styling. I really do enjoy it. you got the nice marks. It almost feels like something that you would see in, uh, in Star Wars, almost, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So we're going to flip over here so you guys are upright, even though uh, there technically is no up in space. But you can, eh, you can kind of argue it either way. But got a little uh, docking tube right there in the back. Ooh, good, good. And the underside. So you got all these. You got this nice sort of uh, bichrome thing going on. You got a nice dark underside. But then the top is all red and white. But the white ties it all together too. So that's really nice. I really do like this. It does feel like it's pretty classically designed in that like it's all focused very much on being blocky with the detailing and stuff. Um, it's a very low profile design. I, I would say that maybe you could increase, or not increase, um, extrude, I guess, or have some details pop out of it. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to really ruin its simplicity. I, I really like how clean it is in that regard. So overall, pretty good. Very low profile, like I said. But uh, the turrets are, I, I don't know. Turrets are tough to do, honestly. I don't know how well I can comment on that. I don't build them that often myself. But having the systems exposed, that's kind of rough. I mean, if you do it in a specific way, it's not too bad. But those, I feel like the, the turrets could use a little bit of touch-up um, to sort of help match it more to the ship itself. But overall, I think it's a, it's a really neat design. Again, like the silhouette, I think, especially from the top, is really clean, really sharp. I really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and head on into the interior. All right, so now we're going to hop out of my core here. Oop, oop, oh, 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 okay, there we go. So we're going to line to this and go inside of here. So there is no gravity in the airlock and not much of an interior, really. Okay, so um, one thing I would recommend, yeah, this is all kind of scattered. Um, I'm wondering if this is a newer player that made this because I'm thinking that might be the case. So yeah, one thing that's nice to have, just to sort of, we'll, we'll start from here, I guess. Um, having a, a clear, distinct walkway or a hallway really helps out. Um, also, having gravity near your entrances and exits is really nice, too. But yeah, this is all kind of scattered and random feeling, um, so it might not hurt to have more of a standardized, wider hallway. If you want to try and do, if these are supposed to be like pillars, um, usually you want to have a wider hallway first, and then you can add pillars in the middle, which can totally work. I've seen it with some ships, but something this small, this cramped, it, it, it makes it feel more cramped, which is not the best. Okay, here's some gravity near the core, which is good, but you also want to try and have it near your doors too, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But yeah, there's, it's, um, it definitely feels like it's a new player ship, which is okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying like, oh, this is terrible. It's, I mean, it, it's all a learning process of trying to figure out like interiors and exteriors. I think you've got a really good start with your exteriors. And uh, I think definitely um, something that you can sort of practice and, and continue to develop on it would be your interiors, because there's not a lot of rhyme or reason to anything 
that I'm seeing yet. I mean, you have sort of a bridge up here, which is good. Um, there's some other stuff that's in the way. It, it, actually, I guess that's a good way to put it. Like, you have things which look like they're supposed to be details, but they, they just kind of feel in the way. Um, so that's another thing that you might want to consider. Um, this, yeah, this is tough to work with. If you have, if you have a block like this um, that works really well on one face, you got to keep in mind that it, it might look different on other faces. So like the sides here, it looks strange having it wrap around like that. So one thing that I might recommend is whatever face it doesn't match up on, you put like a slab or something, just turn it into like a pillar or some sort of like a bracket or rack or whatever to sort of cover that up and hide it. So there's a lot of little tricks you can use to, um, to help hide faces that don't quite match up. So now we're going to go ahead and go back down to the core area like this here we go and make sure we go in here I think there's a few jump computers in here that I saw or maybe I was confusing it for something else nope there are there are three jump computers in this okay which is I mean you can make that work if you want to do um, if you want to do multiple charge ups and stuff that that's okay so yeah, it is all symmetrical so that's another thing to keep in mind which is fine um, but your your airlock also doesn't have well <laughs> so this is this is more of just for a meta thing. Um, it's not really an airlock, which is, if you don't want an airlock, that's fine, you don't have to build an airlock. But if you were to want to actually do an airlock, you'd want to have another door in here. But right now, this is just an entrance, which there's no reason to have an airlock right now. I don't know if that's going to change in the future. But um, just with how people usually build, which, I mean, you know, do what you want. <laughs> that's, really, that's really what it comes down to. But if you wanted to follow sort of the norms, um, then usually there's a secondary door in here to actually make an airlock and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's definitely a, a build in, in progress, well, at least for the interior. Um, again, I do really like the exterior, it's very clean, it's very sharp, um, I enjoy the detailing that you have, especially on the top here, this is really nice. This is kind of what I was talking about up here, um, when I was looking at the underside, where you have things that are extruded, you have height differences, you have things that are recessed, raised up, all that kind of stuff, um, it's definitely... A good start. I, I really do think so. There's a lot of promise here. Um, I feel like the turrets and the interior are currently the weakest point, but that's something that can always be improved on. So that's my two cents. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the HUD and show you guys the stats there in the bottom left. And let me see. We'll go up here so you guys can see what systems it has in it. I don't think it's going to have any crazy engines because there is ice crystal there. So now we'll do the cannons. Got a slow firing cannon. And missiles. Okay. I was worried those were swarmers for a second. I'm like, oh, my, my other core. It's going to get destroyed. All right, there's the three jump drives. Radar jammers, overdrive, scanners, ion, and salvage computer. Really? That's unexpected. Okay, so this is kind of an all-purpose ship, it seems. Interesting. And then some rail dockers, which would probably be for these docks. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely some promise here, but uh, I'd recommend continuing to to work on it. I mean, that's <laughs> I say it all the time, but you know, all of this is just my opinion. But I'm trying to help people make I'm trying to help make people as good as they can be as builders. So I think that's going to be it for me, though. This uh, let me get hidden right there and move it over here. This has been the Gunbuster, which was by uh, M R. Piggins or uh, Mr. Piggins, whichever one it is. Sorry if I butchered your name, but that's uh, as it appears on the StarMade doc. So keep that in mind. But I will have a download link for that in the description down below. So if you want to check it out for yourself, you can do that. But uh, that'll be it for me. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.